good morning to everyone present here. Uh, firstly, it is an honor to be present in front of, uh, next to the CEO of Omantel, to be back into the school after 15 years and see some familiar faces of my teachers. It is truly an honor. The look I get to see the, in those familiar teachers, in the, the proud feeling in those eyes, even for my parents, it's truly an emotional experience for me today. It is an honor to have been called by the Indian School Musker, which also happens to be my alma mater, as a keynote speaker. Before I begin, I would like to thank the principal and the organizing committee for having this immense faith in me and trust for today's event. I would like to also congratulate all the students and the people participating in this science, technology and innovation event. And can we have please a round of applause for those people who have their opening act. It's truly an evolution for, my, for our school, for me to come and see how the school has evolved in these last 15 years. So first thing first, as per my official introduction, I am Gaurav Nahar an ex-student of, ex of this prestigious institution, a certified public accountant who graduated from Indiana University Bloomington Kelly School of Business and a Bachelor's of Science in Finance and Supply Chain Management and the CEO of the company today called Akeed. But that is not how I want to be introduced to you guys today. If you ask about me, I want to introduce myself as a seeker of my dreams and aspirations. I hope with my life experiences that I share today, I'm able to help you dream, create, and inspire, just like the tagline of this event. I used to be that person who used to sit in the back seat of the same auditorium, thinking about the purpose of my life for hours, while everyone bragged about their plans for going for medical studies, professional degrees, working for large corporations. I would attend several of these conferences and events with a clueless expression on my face, not knowing where my life is headed. Growing up in a family that boasted of several successful and accomplished people, I would often doubt my capabilities and intelligence as a person. My father keeps talking to me on several occasions about the importance of hard work and discipline in life. It would inspire me immensely but failed to change things for me till 2018. Work was the last thing I would ever want to discuss or think about. So I started my career with extremely prestigious PricewaterhouseCoopers as an associate in 2010. For seven years, my life was filled with the best of clothes, places to travel, good friends, great events and many more but I would still not feel complete in life. I was like, like the Paul Lehman's jigsaw puzzle that was deprived of that one piece that would make it complete. That missing week, uh, piece was the lack of passion in my life towards my work. I remember being so fed up with the job, the work and everything around me that I would often think about quitting it altogether. I would debate for hours the pros and cons of this job in my head and would realize that this job is not giving me any happiness of any kind. On some days, I would also find myself caught up with the question of how this job is failing to add any value to my life or to the people around me. The days I would ask myself this question were also the days I would wonder, will I be, ever be able to find my own path? Or will I be ever discovering something that I enjoy doing? Quitting a seven year long corporate, good paying, secure job is not an easy decision. Something that you don't advise an early 30s person to do. So even my parents were not happy and scared to see me take this plunge. People would always tell me, when everyone else is settling down, why do you want to start something fresh? I would not have no good answer to go give back to these people. But deep down, I knew I cannot continue to spend nine hours of my day 
towards a job that I did not enjoy doing. But today, when I have successfully left that job and carved my path on my own terms and conditions, I realized that while growing up, we are always asked to choose a path before we even know or can understand that what are going to be the consequences or responsibilities. In school, the fight is always between choosing maths, science, commerce, or being a failure. Nobody tells us that there is more to life than just passing the test or getting the perfect number to top the class. The teachers who taught me when I was your age are present here and probably remembering me as the notorious or prankster who was always onto some mischief. They would secretly tell my parents that your son has the potential but just only needs to focus a little bit. So I, I was not the smartest kid on the block or had anything special that has brought me here today. I was no, I'm no Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates or some Narayan Murthy, Dhirubhai Ambani, I'm nothing. I'm, I'm just a simple person. I was even a frequent visitor to the principal's office and definitely not for the right reasons. <laughs> in, in fact, this is funny, like when I got a call from Ms. Priya, the vice principal of the school, the first thought that came to my mind that if I'm in, into any trouble. <laughs> so I, I, I used to be such a naughty kid that my parents even sent me to India to boarding school in seventh grade. But thanks to my mom, I was able to come back after a year. <laughs> I, I wonder if my parents ever imagined being called with me to the school, but this time to address the gathering. So, thank you mom and dad for not giving up on me, my family, my friends, everyone for coming here today. I feel so happy to have been invited here to share my life and journey with you guys who are yet to step out in the real world and carve a way for yourself. The outside world is not easy. It's not secured like the walls of this school. You have to fight back, give your all and have zero expectations on several occasions. But remember, if you have the right attitude, the right passion, the love and the perfect devotion of, to what, whatever you're doing, you will never be disappointed. Can I ask for anyone here, is, are they pursuing their passion today and they feel happy about it? Very nice. See, that I, I don't see many hands here right now. So I, I have one example like I would like to share with you and uh, this was shared with my dad. That you take a lemon and cut it into two pieces, okay? You use a squeezer and squeeze the juice into a glass, add the required amount of sugar, salt and preferably black salt. Now fill the, co the, water, uh, the glass with cold water and just stir it thoroughly. The lime juice will be ready. Now it's such a simple preparation, yet the lime juice doesn't taste the same when made by two different people. Beyond this lemon, sugar, salt and water, there is one missing ingredient in the preparation of lime juice. And that makes all the difference. In everything we make, create and produce, there is that invisible ingredient that makes the difference between the better and the excellent. The ordinary and the extraordinary. The good and the excellent. And, yeah, and the excellent. Now the difference lies in how much heart went into making it. In dedication, you give what you have and what you can. But in devotion, you give yourself. So either don't do it or do it with devotion, but nothing in between. Now, when I started Akit Delivery, 
which is Oman's first food delivery application in May 2018, I had to let go of a lot of things. When you're managing and responsible for so many people, life becomes full of challenges, lost relationships, sleepless nights, sacrifices, compromises and pain. Because I'm sure some will believe it, agree with me that the higher you go, the harder it gets. However, if you want to be the best, if you want to succeed at whatever you do and reach here today, there is only one simple solution. You have to work hard and, then, and live through these hardships. There is simply no other method. No shortcut, no magic. I am putting 15 to 16 hours per day today. I have done about 500 food deliveries myself. When I've, There are days I forget to have lunch or dinner. But for me, all of this is not work because I enjoy what I am doing. So, my friends, once you cross this bridge, it is worth it. There will be moments also that I have felt like I lost everything. I lost like friends, relationships, or even family. But to my belief and experience, you have to tip the scale to, to grow yourself and your career. One import, another important philosophy that I follow and I would like to share with you is to speak less and do more. This helps me to listen to more and focus on doing more. When I look at you guys, especially the ones sitting in the back, I can't help but get reminded of my school days when I would feel completely pressurized looking at my peers who had their ducks in a row. I can imagine a lot of you today on Facebook and Instagram looking at your friends accomplish and living a fancy life. But I would like to tell you that life is beyond, as even Mr. Sheikh Talal said, that life is beyond these 6 inch and 5 inch uh, screens. I remember being told to only study, study, study or own, I will fail in my life. I can relate to you guys, but I can tell you, parents, teachers, that life on the contrary is long. To everyone here, there is hope my friends. I was 31 years old when I only found my passion. There are several opportunities that will come in this world to you. Look at these people like Sam Walton founded Walmart at the age of 44. Adidas was founded in the age of 49. Gordon Bocker founded Starbucks at the age of 51. Charles Flint founded IBM at 61 and very famous David Stan Sanders who founded KFC at the age of 62. So see my friends, it's never too late to translate your dreams into reality. You might choose the wrong opportunity and because of lack of options, but that's all right. This is how we learn. My, at my attitude before starting this company, what there is that I have nothing to lose. If all shall fail, I have to return to my previous career and I will happily go back with much more maturity, experience and learning that I could have probably not have gained while being in PwC. And today I can be sure of this, that if I walk into any interview, any employer would be very happy to take me on board. I have only come to realize this now, that there is no decision of yours now or in the future that will define your whole life. And if you have this that's insecurity that you could lose everything, please remember this my friends, fortunately or unfortunately, we all die one day. So there is nothing to be insecure about. If your decision was right, great, you continue to find better opportunities and you have to stay passionate. This is why Steve Jobs said, stay hungry, stay foolish. For all, and if you make any mistakes, believe me, I'm not as experienced as some of you, but I feel like you get plenty and plenty of time to fix it, to try something new and forget the past. You just need to believe in yourself. As far as my journey is concerned today, I am the proud owner of Akit Delivery which is the first Omani on-demand delivery service mobile application. Akeem, 
It's an Arabic term that translates to shore in English and envisioned as the one-stop shop for all your daily needs. The application was launched in May 2018 and in these nine months, we have a registered customer base of 24,000 people and have successfully completed We have successfully also completed over 50,000 orders. I would like to share a video of Akid. restaurants and cafes from Rui to Mabela and recently expanded to a new area, Alambrat, and started grocery delivery in Muscat. Currently, we have the most hardworking, talented, and amazing team of 80 staff and drivers, and our plan is to make this number 200 by the end of 2019. Given the competition in this business, we are extremely thankful to Domani Nationals for their continu continuous support and love for a local business. We have received interest from government institutions to partner with us for an expansion plan to hire talent, increase geographic coverage across Oman and the region, and to create employment opportunities for locals and increase product offerings. I would also like to thank, take this opportunity to thank my team for their continuous efforts, sacrifices, dedication to help me reach here today. We are so proud that to even announce that we have reached break-even position in the first nine months of the company and become the highest valued company in a Series A valuation. So all of this happened in the last nine months of my life. Only when I decided to follow my dreams and think out of the box instead of just being part of the rat race. So my dear friends, step back, take a deep breath, and figure out what you want to do in life. Once you find your passion, chase it and conquer it. I realize that you have to step out of your comfort zone to achieve greatness. And believe me, if you make that first step and follow your heart, you have already won the battle. And you will never ever be disappoint disappointed with your life. I would like to leave today with just a famous quote by Ayn Rand, to follow your heart is the most courageous thing to do. Thank you, have a great day.